Uh, the Victor Alpha 7, Delta Bravo Juliet, do you copy? Hi, I'm Michael, KB9 GBR for Ham Radio Outdoors. And today we're on the Ice Age Trail, uh, more specifically the Pro Plover River segment of the Ice Age Trail. Uh, you've, if you've seen a few of my videos, you know that I've, I've really highlighted the Ice Age tra Trail quite a few times. And for a good reason, uh, the Ice Age National Scenic Trail is uh, 1,200 miles long and it runs uh, from its western terminus in uh, St. Croix Falls, Wisconsin, on the Wisconsin-Minnesota border, to its eastern terminus uh, just north of Sturgeon Bay at Potawatomi State Park uh, on the shores of Lake Michigan, or specifically the Green Bay. And the really neat thing about the Ice Age Trail is its varied geography as it um, marks the, the extent of the, last, the latest glaciation uh, during, you know, in, in the state of Wisconsin. So um, today uh, we're in a different part of the trail, uh, a little bit different scenery, uh, but uh, my goal really today is not to so much highlight the trail, but sort of to talk about this. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how I set up and tune my Wolf River coil antenna, and that's gonna be the purpose of this video today. We're gonna put the Wolf River coil on the air, and I'm gonna show you how I set this antenna up, kind of give you a good idea of how to, how to make the thing work. So um, without further ado, uh, let's get the Ice Age Trail on the air. In setting up my uh, Wolf River coil antenna, I'm gonna go through the main components that I usually carry with me. Of course, there's the uh, coil itself. Uh, this is the uh, Wolf River coil Silver Bullet 1000. I'm using the Platinum Edition. Uh, the Platinum Edition is designed for uh, higher output powers. It's got a more heat resistant uh, center core, which uh, the, the standard uh, Wolf River coil has a tendency to melt if you run too much power through it too much for too long of a time, especially on full duty cycle modes uh, like FT8 or, or digital or things like that. Uh, so the Platinum Edition is, is more uh, tolerant to that, so you can run uh, higher power, I think 500 watts, a sideband, uh, uh, certainly 200 watts CW, things like that. Um, for uh, counterpoise or ground radials, you really need ground, a good ground radial system with this coil. And I use three of these. Uh, these uh, Wolf River sells their own, but I just made my, uh, my own uh, ground radials. This is uh, 33 feet of, uh, 14 gauge stranded wire on the end of the wire. I have uh, just a little uh, clip, uh, spring clip, uh, battery uh, for connecting to a battery, and uh, that connects to the base of the antenna. And I lay these uh, ground radials out. I found that uh, one radio is often not enough. Two, you can kind of make work, but um, your best bang for the buck is if you set up three radials. And I will usually do, um, on the lower bands, like 40, 80 meters, or 80 meters, I'll probably extend this radial all the way. Uh, 40 meters, uh, typically about um, three quarters of its length, I'll have unrolled. Uh, 20 meters, about two thirds, and then I kind of go, I kind of go up from there, uh, depending on on what band I'm on. But I found that um, if I'm having trouble tuning the antenna, uh, getting a good match, I will um, start to adjust my radials. And that usually, usually, um, if my SWR is around 1.8, uh, two to one, and I'm, I just can't find that match, I'll start, um, I'll start playing around with the radials, and that drops things down to a, a good level. To uh, t um, mount the antenna, to attach the antenna to something, uh, this is one of my favorite tools. Uh, this is what's called a CB antenna um, mirror clamp mount. It's got a, um, a jaws on one end that uh, you can 
uh, clamp to just about anything that will fit inside its mouth. On the other end, there's a 3 8 by 24 fine thread and uh, an SO239 or UHF uh, female connector. So I've used this on, um, on, on metal stakes. I've used it on barbecue grills. I've used it on picnic tables. Um, just about anything uh, to get uh, the antenna up into the air. And speaking of, of stakes or mounts, um, sometimes I'll use this. This is just a piece of copper tubing that I'll pound into the ground if I'm like at a campsite or on a beach or something like that. This works really well. If I'm in an area like today, the ground is still frozen. My second choice is this. And uh, this is, it's pretty heavy. It's a uh, base for uh, for a flagpole, uh, something like those, those advertising flags or banners you might see in front of a storefront. Uh, that's what this is from. And um, it's, it's, like I said, it's, it's, got, it's got four legs. It's really heavy, so it's not going to knock over in the wind. And um, I really like uh, repurposing this to use as my base for the, uh, for the roof, roof of a coil. And final piece is the whip. And the whip that I'm using is the Chameleon, a 17-foot stainless steel whip. I've tried other whips, uh, the MFJ, um, generic ones that I've, I've found along the way. And this is definitely the most rugged and reliable um, collapsible whip that I have found. And I really, I really like using this as part of my uh, Wolf River coil kit. 40 meters, I'll extend this out all the way. Um, as I move up in the bands, 20 meters, I'll, I'll, I'll shrink it up a little bit, uh, 17, shrink it up a little bit more uh, so that um, you can try to minimize the, uh, um, the amount of coil you need uh, for a good match. Uh, the more whip in the air you can get, uh, your better overall performance is going to be. So that, in a nutshell, is my uh, setup. Oh, one last thing is coax. I usually use, uh, I'll usually use, um, at the very least, 25 feet of RG8X coax, but I found that if I use a 50 foot length, uh, that also helps sort of minimize some of those um, problems where I get um, in, in trying to get a good match for the antenna. So um, uh, a lot of variables you can, you can kind of work with to get a good match. Uh, the length of your coax, uh, your whip length, uh, where you're tuning on the on the coil itself, and of course, how your ground radi how long your ground radials are. So, <laughs> all of those factors kind of go into play in finding that that good match. And to find that good match, I'll use my um, uh, Rig Expert a Stick 230 antenna analyzer. It's just um, it's it's the quickest way that I've found to really um, dial in that antenna for a particular frequency on a particular band. So enough of me talking. Uh, let's get the Wolf River coil on the air. This is KB9 VBR Parks on the Air, QRZ. QAE 0 IKG. Uh, the Kilo Zero India Quebec Zulu. Is it? I, I believe that's what it is. Uh, the Kilo Zulu station, come again. Kilo Echo Zero India Kilo Golf. KE 0 IKG. All right, Kilo Echo Zero India Kilo Golf. Gotcha. Uh, 59 Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. All right, well, thanks for the Columbia, Missouri. Uh, greatly appreciate it. You have a great day in 7 3. Roger that, 7 3 to you. Good luck with your activations. 7 3. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Alpha Echo Zero, Oscar Charlie. Alpha Echo Zero, Oscar Charlie, 5 5, Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Thank you, that sounds good. I'll see you again, Michael. You're a 5 7 in the Southwest Missouri. Roger the 57 Southwest Missouri, and uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. QRP, Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Echo 8, QRP. Okay, the Kilo Echo 8, QRP, come again. Kilo Echo 8, 
Papatango X-ray. Kilo Echo 8, Papatango X-ray. Got you. You're a 5-1 Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. All right, well, um, you're sounding good for one watt over there in Michigan. Uh, we're only running 50. I uh, got the Wolf River coil set up today, uh, so it seems to be working. Roger, I said the month of March is one watt mark. All right, good deal. Well, good deal. Well, keep going. Uh, you have a great one in 7-3. Uh, this is KB9VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Okay, I think that um, evidently there's a couple QSO parties going on, and they can't hear me. I can hear them which is a problem. And uh, we're gonna change bands, uh, move up to 20 meters. Hopefully that's gonna uh, give us a, a little bit, a little bit uh, freer space. So in changing uh, the bands from 40 meters to 20 meters, I'm gonna do two things. Number one is I will adjust the coil. Uh, I'll probably shorten the whip a little bit and try to bring the, the collar on that coil as, as far up as I can. And then number two, I'm gonna uh, tighten this up. Um, I got these about spread out about three quarters of their entire 33 foot length. So I'm just gonna wind this up. So it's about two thirds. Um, I just eyeball it, not really uh, go too precise. And that, that seems to do the trick. Okay, let's see where we're at. Five. 2.3, I probably went too far. 2.1, all right, we're almost there. So, Huh, 1.28. We'll take it. CQ, CQ, Park Sunny Air, CQ, Park Sunny Air, KB9, VBR, Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Park Sunny Air. Alpha 2, Lima, Alpha Charlie. Kilo, Alpha 2, Lima, Alpha Charlie, got you 5 1, Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. I got the park. Uh, I didn't, I missed the signal report. Uh, the signal report, you're coming in at a 5-3, five, 5-3 three, five, three into Wisconsin. Back to you. Got the 5-3. You just came up to a 5-5, five, 5-5, five, 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 Long Island, New York. QSL? QSL, the Long Island, New York. Yeah, it looks like there's a lot of QSB on the band today. Yeah, it's a roller coaster. All right. Well, we guess we're in for a ride then, so thanks for the contact. 73. 73. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo, Foxtrot 1, Sierra Hotel. Kilo Fox 1, Sierra Hotel, 5-9, Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Uh, QSL, great signal into North Carolina, 5-9. Roger the 5-9, North Carolina, and thanks for the contact today. This is KB9 VBR, parks on the air, QRZ. Kilo Charlie 1, Quebec. Okay, this, uh, Quebec, stand by. The station ending in Juliet. Kilo Charlie 1, Bravo Delta Juliet. Kilo Charlie 1, Bravo Delta Juliet, 55 Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Thank you very much. That's a 58 in Western Massachusetts, Mike Alpha. Roger, the 58 in Western Massachusetts, and thanks for the contact today. 73. 73. And then that station ending in Quebec? Uh, yeah, Norway and Sugar, 8 Quebec, 59, 59, New York State. Love your, uh, videos, Michael. Thank you. All right, Norway Sugar 8 Quebec. Uh, thanks for the New York City. You're a 55 five, Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Top to 4238. Was that a 58? Yep, it's a 58, giving you a 58. Roger, Roger. Thank you so much. 73. 73. Have a great day. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. November 1, India, Bravo, Quebec. November 1, India, Bravo, Quebec, 59, Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Uh, Mike, you're a 55 five into Connecticut, Charlie Tango. Thanks for the Connecticut. Uh, greatly appreciated. Uh, great chatting with you and to have fun in the activation. Seven, three. 
All right, sunny and 53 degrees, so we're enjoying it. Uh, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Ah. Is that a Kilo 9 Whiskey Kilo India? Was there a station ending in India? Kilo November 6, Kilo India. Kilo November 6, Kilo India, there we go. Uh, 55 Wisconsin, park number 4238, back to you. Uh, QSL, you're also 55 California. Roger the 55 California, thanks for the contact today. 7-3, KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. November 4, November Radio. Oh, yeah, that's that was good. Uh, <laughs> uh, 20 is a lot better than uh, 40. It's still a roller coaster. And uh, let's, let's retune that thing to the 17-meter band and uh, see what it gives us. Whiskey 6, Victor India Papa. Got you about a 5-5 five, five in Wisconsin. Park number 4238. Back to you. Yeah, Whiskey 6, Victor India Papa here. Got you about a 4-3, 43 in the Central California. Roger the 4-3 Central California. Yeah, you're fading too. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Bravo. Kilo, November 6, Oscar Charlie Bravo, got you about a 5 1 in Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Uh, uh, please repeat the park number. Uh, the park number is 4238. 4238. QSL, thank you. Uh, you're about a 5, 5 here in uh, Clovis, California. Thank you very much. All right, well, Roger, Roger, the California, and uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. This is KB9 VBR, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Well, that was uh, quite the activation. Uh, I hope you found the, um, uh, my tutorial on how I set up the Wolf River Coil helpful, um, and maybe it'll give you some ideas on how you can utilize the uh, Wolf River Coil and just sort of speed up the, uh, the deployment and uh, the matching process for that. Uh, but uh, it's a beautiful day here uh, on the Ice Age Trail. It's in the, if it's uh, temperatures in the 50s, the sunny skies, uh, forehead's probably going to be sunburnt. Uh, let's see, we got 51 contacts. The bulk of them were on the 20 meter band, had about 11 of them on um, 40 meters, and then about just three contacts on the 17 meter band. So 20 was what was working well for uh, me today, uh, which was, um, wasn't too bad. Uh, a lot of QSB on the bands. So um, signals would be strong one second and then they would just fall out and then they would come back up again, kind of like a roller coaster. <laughs> uh, so it made for a real interesting activation. But um, it was a good time here at the Ice Age Trail, like I said. Uh, I got to get things packed up and moved out of here. Hopefully we won't get stuck in the mud on our way out. Uh, but um, I'll put a link here uh, in the video description for some of my other Ice Age uh, Trail activation videos because, like I said, the, the geography and the topography is really varied as you, as you traverse the Ice Age Trail through the state. And hopefully we can do uh, some more of these Ice Age activations in, uh, in the coming weeks and months. But um, that's it for this time. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. Have a great day in 73. Whiskey 3, Alpha Alpha X-Ray, beautiful 5-9 into Wisconsin, park number 4238. Back to you. Uh, thanks so much for the beautiful 5.9. I wish you could return the favor. You're up and down at QSB. You were 5.9 a second ago, but now you're down to 5.3 into Mike Delta. QSL? QSL, the 5.3 Mike Delta. Yeah, the bands are a roller coaster today. <laughs> it's crazy, but uh, thanks for the contact. Uh, no problem. It came up to about a 5.5 five to 5.7 five, that time, so don't give up. Uh, KB9 VBR, always good to hear you. And 7.3 from W3AAX.